Hey guys, it's Bart. And Dave. And today, we're gonna talk to you about disease. Genetic disease. Genetic disease. Serious stuff. It is. Scary stuff. Mm. So, once we decided on an egg donor we're really excited about, we go to the next phase, which is testing. And this is genetic testing for myself, for Dave, and for our potential egg donor, because we put in actually two embryos. So what does this testing consist of? Really, you just spit into a tube. It's as simple as that. And what happens is that tube shipped to, we use Recombine, which is a company that does this genetic testing. And they essentially screen you and your DNA for what, 300 and something yeah, different diseases? Long, long list. There's a lot of stuff that long list. people can carry. Yeah. So the results came back and I was a carrier for one disease. And, and Dave, how many diseases were you a carrier? Four diseases. MVP over <laughs> here. Heavenly disease over <laughs> here. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, I mean, there's like, again, these 300 diseases and, you know, I actually, one of my diseases is called Mediterranean fever, which means that I drink olive oil straight out of the bottle and uh, Campari. You know, that's sort of the same thing. So, but in all seriousness, it's, uh, it's a pretty bad disease. It can lead to hereditary inflammation, which means that you can be, our baby could have been very inflamed, which no joke, one of the symptoms is a tender, inflamed scrotum. You gotta so, bring that up. Although, we're having a girl, so I guess that's really a problem. Right? <laughs> Let's hope but, not. But no, but not seriously, it's a real, real disease. So, um, but yeah, so I have four. Yeah, so I have one. And then we actually found out um, our egg donor was a carrier for cystic fibrosis. So at first we were like, yeah, oh gosh, scary. like this is scary. Why would we continue with this egg donor? But actually after talking to a number of like genetic professionals at Recombine and also um, through our agency and surrogacy, there's actually a lot of um, cystic fibrosis uh, carriers. And the issue itself is not the carriers as if both of us, either of us, let's say, were a carrier as well, that's when the risk really becomes yeah. real. Pun, pun and squares, pun and squares, if you're yeah. from your, biology. From biology. From biology class. Yeah. And so since neither of us are carriers for cystic fibrosis, that's not a, you know, a high risk or middle risk, it's a very low to zero risk uh, issue for us. So they actually tell you the, the likelihood even in this of like what the potential is of your child contracting this disease. Mediterranean fever was quite low too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and, and you know, I think this is honestly one of the benefits of IVF is that you get all this pre-screening and the reality is that, you know, once your baby is in the womb, there will be additional genetic screens, they can do a blood test. And so even, you know, the chance of our baby having cystic fibrosis was super low because of the, the Punnett Square issue that we talked about earlier. Nonetheless, they can still test uh, your fetus for cystic fibrosis as well, and yeah. fragile X and these other scary. Yeah, just a few months into the pregnancy, so yeah. it's really amazing. Uh huh. Yeah, and then um, yeah, so we definitely recommend whether you're you know trying to have a kid uh, our way, the more complicated way, or just the natural way. Uh, definitely go ahead and spit into a tube and see what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week, guys. See ya. Bye.